Hello guys and welcome to Jazz Tutorials where art is awesome and everyone here is part of this team and we are all team awesome. Okay, so this week we're making a really awesome cool bit cool tutorial. It's gonna be a 3D sparkly glittery awesome text effect. Now I bet you're thinking, oh no, 3D, lots of steps, holy crap, can't do this, oh click away. No. Um it's gonna be 3D, but in a sense in an easy 3D way. Um yeah, I'll explain as we go along. Now, I have all the layers already created in my, in my layers over here, as you'll notice. And I'm doing that because I'd rather you not sit through a lengthy video because I know how boring lengthy videos can be. So I try to make it as quick and easy as possible so you get your information and your awesomeness and you're good to go and you can leave whenever you, when you need to. So um, you'll notice over here that I already have a background made um, and I will show you that momentarily. So, um, to create this lovely little background we have here, you're going to double click on your background that you've made, and you can choose any color background you want, because it really doesn't matter, you're going to change it anyway. So double click it, make it layer zero, then double click that, and you're going to add a gradient overlay. Make sure your style is set at radial, and your angle at 65 degrees, and then you're going to select these lovely blue colors for your color choices. So this is your left color over here. And this is going to be your lovely bright color, right there. Click OK, OK, and if you have those settings there, you're good to go. Click OK, and you should see something like what I have here. Alrighty, well, we're getting somewhere, but not quite. Now, I already made the text in this tutorial, but I will show you briefly how to make this, just so you're aware of what we're going to be going at. Now, you want to make sure for this next part that black and white are in your swatches, but white is your foreground and black is in your background. So we're going to grab our type tool, and you're going to want to select a font similar to what I'm choosing here. I'm choosing a font called Playball that I had in my lovely computer. And your font needs to be black. So just change the color of your text to black. And then after you do so, make sure the white and black, white's first and black's in your background. Now, I like mine really bold, so I'm going to go over here to Character. And I'm just going to make mine a little more bold. All right, well, that's, I guess, bold. Okay, it's bold. So now I'm going to have to rasterize my layer because the following effects you'll need to have, it'll ask you to rasterize anyway. So just to save myself a few extra minutes, I'm going to try and I'm gonna rasterize it myself. So rasterize the layer and boom. Okay, now we're going to go up here to filter and you're going to select stained glass, which is under texture. And the reason that we have white and black in there, white first and black glass, is so you can see the stained effect. So you want to have four for your cell size and two for your border thickness and lightness intensity is set at zero. Alright, click OK and you should see something like that. Now we need to further more um, get rid of the white. You only want to see the black. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you. So now go up here to select and you're going to select color range. And you're going to grab your eyedropper tool and you're going to select the black inside of your text. Now, you may need to have your thing zoomed in for this, um, and select that, and okay, and we're going to have our fullness set at 100%, or 100 rather, and we're going to click OK, and make sure the word selections set, not image. I don't know, sometimes it does that, but we're going to click that. And then it'll give you this little like selection of what we just made. And now we're going to go up here to Refine Edge. So select and go to Refine Edge. And, and you'll notice here, once I have opened this, that I have some settings here you need to follow. So I checked off Smart Radius, but I left it at 0.0. .0. Um, and then over here, my smoothness is 1. Feather is 0, 0.0 and contrast is 0, but your shift edge should be negative 10. And then you're going to have to set your uh, output down here to 100%. Click OK, and you should have something like what, I, what you see here in my lovely picture. Alrighty, Roo. Now we're going to add a pattern overlay to this because we want to give it a nice grayscale effect. So go to double click on your copy layer and and it looks like a pattern only. Now the 
following pattern that I'm showing you is actually in Photoshop. It comes standard, so don't go freaking out. I mean, like, oh, I don't have this pattern. You do. You're going to probably have to load it into Photoshop because a lot of people don't realize that all your patterns don't come already in there. you got to load them yourself manually. So just go ahead and load those patterns. I'm sure by now you know how to load a pattern and all that stuff. Same way you load brushes is the same way you load patterns. So we're going to select this one here. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. It's called Cells. So click this one. And 100% for your opacity. Scales 100%. And you're good to go. And you're going to see that. Now, we need to also enhance this. So go, we're going to go back into um, our stained glass. So texture is going to be stained glass. This time we're going to choose a border thickness of 1. But everything else can stay the same. So we're just going to click OK on that. And that's where we're at. Now, we need to also increase the contrast and stuff, so we're going to add a Levels Adjustment Layer. The reason why we're doing an Adjustment Layer is because we want to have this only on the text layer and not the entire image. So we're going to also add a Clipping Mask to this layer. So check the little paint bucket there. Okay. And then with these level settings, you're going to have this here. You're going to have 8, 0.66, and 244. And then you're going to knock that right down to that lovely layer right there. Alright, sweet. And this needs to be above everything. So above all of your text, you have to have um, a levels. Alright. So I now have um, already made this, so my effect's not showing quite as well. Only because I've already made this effect, and it's, gonna, it's kind of screwing you guys up, I know. But believe me, you'll understand. Okay, so once you've done that, alright, I'm going to delete these layers and I'll show you what I mean. So let's so go back. Do, do, do. Oop, that's that layer. Do, do. Okay, so now you're probably confused, but I'll show you what this is. This is essentially what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be getting this right here. So now you'll notice how I have some sparkles and what I did is I went over here to my brushes and I will provide these for you in the description box below. These are um, sparkles you will need because they're going to enhance the photo. So create a new layer above everything. Well, yeah. And then you're going to grab any of these sparkles and you may need to resize the sparkles just FYI. Just FYI, because they're going to be quite large. Um, so I'm just going to grab this one here. And, new layer. and just going to stick it somewhere. So anywhere is fine. And you can resize them. They're going to be quite small, large, whatever. That's not the right sparkle. Oh, yeah, this one here. Yeah. And then just put it anywhere you like and whatnot. And I'll give you the link for the sparkles in below because you will need these. And then once you have your sparkles all all cool and stuff, you're then gonna rasterize rasterize to me. You're gonna merge the sparkles and your lovely text together. Okay. Okay. So you kind of follow me. I know my preview looks way different than yours will, but believe me, that's how you do it. Okay. So once you've merged your sparkles and your text layer together, you're then going to duplicate your text layer. Oh, before I say anything, you need to make sure that white and black are in your swatches um, when you're doing the, um, the glittery sparkles around your text. So you can see how mine looks as we black than white. All right. All right. After you've duplicated your layer, you're then going to go up here to 3D and you're going to select new 3D postcard from layer. That's essentially what we're making the 3D effect from. Okay, once you have done that, you can then go down here to this lovely cool tool called the Object Rotation. This will then be available for you. Um, you're going to want to select this is orientation. This is how you um, make it so it looks like this here. Um, when you select this, select the rotating tool. And you need to make sure the orientations X, Y, and Z all match my numbers here. Um, but you are more than welcome to um, fix them however you want your 3D text to look. But this is exactly how I've done mine here. 
Okay? All right, now we're going to move a little forward here. So now, um, we're going to make various copies of this uh, lovely 3D layer. And we're going to be doing various effects to these different layers. So duplicate your um, layer, your text layer, which is now a um, nice 3D postcard thing. And we're going to take a, um, we're going to hit the mask layer button. And with black and white in your swatches, you're just going to take a lovely eraser brush or whatever, um, a gra gradient tool rather. And you're going to select, I think, believe, a white or black doesn't matter and you're going to swipe it down from the top so as you'll see here in my preview here how it's kind of fading in you're going to kind of essentially fade it out all right you're going to fade out the text and all that once you've done that double click it and we're going to add a lovely drop shadow and select your blend mode to overlay opacity is 52 percent 120 for the uh, angle check use global light 12px for your distance, 0 for your spread, size is 1, and this is your color for that. Alright, click OK, and you're good to go. And you should see a nice 3D effect similar to what I have here. Now, going back to your original text layer yet again, you're going to then duplicate that text layer again. Um, well, the one you just made with the, um, the copied layer with the uh, faded side. See this here? Yeah. Duplicate that, double-click it, and this time you're going to add bevel and emboss and contour settings. So you want to have an inner bevel with a depth of 100%, a direction of up, size is 5, soften is 0px. 120 for your angle and 30 for your altitude. Use global light should be checked off. And highlight and, and shadow modes are both an overlay. 75% for your opacity on your highlight mode. White is your color and black for your shadow but with a 0% opacity. And then for your gloss contour, you're going to select this one right here. And in case this contour is not um, already in here, again, you will need to load it. It does come standard with Photoshop. All of these I'm showing you does. So go ahead and load your lovely contour there. That's in your presets if you didn't already know that. Okay, click OK if you're done with that. And then oh, contour. And you're going to select this lovely cone shape here. Now, for those of you that don't see this cone shape, um, I will explain to you what this cone is. Then you'll have to load that one as well. It's the second one in. Okay. Make sure the range is at 50% and then click OK. And you will see the following lovely effect on top. Alrighty, Roo. One more time, duplicate your previous layer. And you're going to double click it and we're going to add different settings. We're going to add yet another cool contour and bevel and emboss which is the same as we did before so you could pretty much copy the um, previous layer because you did the same thing I'm going to make that one visible oops hold on one second that's probably going to confuse you right there so as you'll notice I now have above that so now once you've had that once you make that layer, um, um, you'll see how we have a nice 3D effect going right here. Well, now it's time to add the sparkly colors to it. So go ahead and grab a lovely gradient fill adjustment layer. And you're, again, going to have to make this a um, clipping mask so it only goes to the text and not the entire background. You're going to select any color you like. Um, these um, gradient colors here came, came, came within my Photoshop, but... If you don't have them, it's fine. Make your own. But I just like this color here. It looks really great. Um, and this did come with my Photoshop. It was in my presets. I found it. But if you don't have it, it's totally fine. You can make your own colors. But I like this color. It works best for me. With a linear style, an angle of 45 degrees. Alrighty. And I clipped it and I moved it down. So now it's kind of like on top. So look at that, guys. Pretty cool. Alright, we have a few more steps to go, not too many more, and you'll notice how my levels are on top now. Like, remember how we did previously? This is the levels I was talking about earlier, and this was clipped to the mask, so that was mine. And then on the top, very, very top, this is the last step, guys. You're going to take your lovely uh, brush tool, and I used a soft round brush of like, I don't know, 30 or something, 
and it was white and I just brushed over top of my text a bit just to give it more of a lightness and I set the um, blend mode to overlay so that it blends in really nicely and as you can clearly see there we now have a sparkly cool glittery text effect sort of kinda I mean it's not really like sparkly like crazy but it's pretty close considering the advantages you have in Photoshop. I mean, I'm sure I could probably have given you something a little way glittery, but, you know, we did a good job, right, guys? We gave, we gave it our best. We gave it our best, and we created something pretty cool and awesome. So now if we zoom in a bit, you'll be able to see the effect better. And voila! There you go. 3D text effect with glitter. Pretty awesome, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I apologize in advance for it being very long and lengthy. I tend to try and make videos 10 minutes or under, but it doesn't always work out that way, so I'm very sorry if I bored you to tears with this video. Hopefully I didn't. Hopefully you stuck around to the end because it's a really cool outcome. Um, and hey, guys, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. 10,000! That's a lot of people, guys. That's so many of you believe in me. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea how much I love you guys. We are all team awesome. Every, every All 10, 9,500 and something of you. 900, no, 9,900 and something of you. You're all awesome in any way, shape, or form. We here are all team awesome. So tell your friends, tell everyone you know, and come join the team. Because being awesome is an awesome thing. And I know you guys like being awesome. So, um, Once we hit 10,000 subscribers, guys, something big is going to happen. Something pretty cool that I think you guys might enjoy. Well, I hope you'll enjoy it anyway. For me, it's a big change, but I really will appreciate it eventually. So, yay to that. So, we only have, I think, 45 to go. 35? Something like that. We only have like, 35 to 40 more people to come. And then, boom, big things are happening. Lots of celebrations. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and as always, please subscribe, comment, and like.